When you subscribe to this channel, I will make sure you all will get the new update on every new game. In this video, you will find some beta games or early access, which is pretty refreshing for your gaming experience. As I know, I have online and offline viewers who always keep on supporting this channel consistently. So, I made the video of Top 12 New Game Mobile, Best New Games Online, and New Offline Games for Android iOS. You can support this channel and send us a special thanks. Boxhead Zombies Boxhead Zombies Must Die. This game is absolutely the best and really challenging for a new game with roguelike action hack and slash game. It's a pretty simple game actually. You just started the game with nothing. Along with the combat, you will gain an extra ability and be able to upgrade your passive skill by selecting the skill buff. The buff will need some points that you gain through clearing the stages. This new best game seems really easy to learn, but actually when you face the boss monster, then you will know how strong the boss is. I tried many times and never can beat the boss because his movement is unpredictable, especially when his HP is getting lower and his strength will be triggered by increasing security significantly the best new action hack and slash game for android ios dude wars dude wars for an offline game with a super small size this new game has a high graphic level the story is quite interesting it's about a boy who stole some rare memes from the leader of the gangster now you must survive from them it's kind of a sandbox gameplay or gta looks like a game the color is pretty refreshing with bright colors at all we can drive a car and crash the npc who's walking using your wooden baseball stick or granite to kill the npc is possible i really love the regular p6 from each of them but you must be careful of them because some police will come after you aggressively don't let them arrest you by fighting back at you because you cause any trouble metal slug awakening metal slug awakening this is a great example of a remake game because i was a player who loved to play metal slug back then and i really impressed with how great the optimization of metal slug awakening this game has much better graphic with more variety of storyline even it has a voiceover on each character the characters are playable at all and switchable in combat so before entering the mission we must adjust the hero's gun and select the best one upgrading is possible to do to make us get confidence in playing the mission overall it has the same mechanism as the last version i really love that the control is pretty fit on the mobile and really responsive such a great nostalgic this game doesn't have any level difficulty but it will be getting harder along the way especially when you fight with the boss which is pretty tough the best new english action game rpg for android and ios zombie state zombie state Finally, we have a new update of this game. I remember playing this game offline, but now we must log in with an internet connection to enjoy it. And it's pretty worth playing. We have a new arena, new ambience, and able to pick a different difficulty and try to pick a highest level if you feel a pro aim enough. The gameplay of Zombie State is a roguelike FPS game, so we need to surpass the arena by clearing the waves. Each wave will have a tons of zombies, some zombies can throw a poison and most of them are melee combat so it's really important to stay away from each zombie to prevent their attack and keep checking the situation aiming on the zombies head will deal higher damage you can get a new gun by dropping items from the zombie there are three slots weapon you will have and switchable every time you clear the waves then get your best new ability by selecting from the random ability in the lobby we can upgrade the guns best new action fps game for android and ios anime school city life anime school city life sim 3d this new game has a high graphic if you are looking for the game size it is pretty small actually only 78 megabyte even it need a huge optimization but i really understand it's because this game is just new release and made by the indie developer so they will update it step by step the gameplay of anime school city life sim 3d is we will play a young student and start the day by doing usual activities like change the uniform baking the bread 
take a shower, it will gain your EXP point continuously. There is a main mission and sub-missions we all need to clear. But actually, you can do a sandbox mode by kicking off or punch the other NPCs. Running is possible to speed up your movement, but it needs some energy. The energy will recharge automatically. You can play this new best game offline, but supporting the developer is possible by watching the ads. Street Fighter Shadow Duel Street Fighter Shadow Duel Seriously, this new game is super simple. We only need to go forward and beat the enemies up. But don't underestimate it, because the more you reach a higher stage, that means you will get more aggressive enemies. We can use a simple movement like a kick, punch, and jump punch. Try to combine those actions to win the combat. Remember to break the barrels to get a weapon like a wooden stick and gun but everything has a durability and limited use. Each time you clear the stages then you will obtain some gold for buying a new hero with more powerful strength. Grand Thief Operation Grand Thief Operation GTO Open World This is the best open world new game is absolutely very good for an offline game that only needs 289 megabyte. This game absolutely has a perfect ragdoll PC that makes the player have a nice experience and great satisfaction when you hitting the enemies or killing the NPC. When you did something criminal, some of the police will come after you. Their number will increase significantly if you stay on one spot. So better if you escape from them, buy a car to survive. Buying a gun is pretty easy and we can shoot the police or the NPC around us. Not only a car we can drive because flying with a helicopter plane is possible. Our main goal is destroying the main statue. Absolutely the best GTA game like offline for Android and iOS and playable for low end phones. Anyway, I really love the short tutorial and it is pretty effective and efficient to understand. While Runner Wild Runner. This is the best new offline game that feels like playing a multiplayer game because we will compete with 6 bots in total with very cute animal designs. We all must try to lead and reach the finish line faster, but it's not easy because every character can use a random weapon to slow down us, like using a small rock to throw the enemy and wolf trap. It's a pretty simple game, but some of the characters will have a higher top speed. We must close his way to prevent his speed faster when we lead on him. There are 6 bots we will compete with, even though they are bot, but their acceleration is pretty fast so be careful and keep your focus on. In fact, there is some obstacle that we need to jump on. This new game has a high graphic with a super low size, it's just 124MB and playable offline. I am pretty sure all of the devices can run it smoothly. Deploy Hero Deploy Hero Journey Action RPG This new offline action RPG game is on development, which is early access. That is why at a certain time we will get laggy issues. But the developer is working on it. Even the game is under 1GB, so I think it will be alright then when it goes to global release. Deploy Hero Journey is a top-down view perspective RPG. We will get some allies along the journey. They will help us in fighting the monster, unleashing their skill will affect our combat strength, like healing skill or active skill. We also have a stronger one which is an ultimate skill that allows us to transform into a red fire dragon. Every enemy will be wiped out easily by his fire breath. We will get some conversation between the hero while in combat. I didn't see any obstacle that we need to solve. Most of the problem is only the number of the enemy will be increasing significantly. We will get 3 main heroes with a different weapon, sword, hammer, and slime with his healing magic. WW2 WW2 Frontline 1942 War Game I think more developers should develop the FPS game like this, especially since it has a classical World War game theme. 
It's purely give the player a new experience on how the world should be. It has a classic gun, classic ambience in a high graphic visual. When I play this new online game, I really love how fast the match takes time. It's pretty short of the estimate time and we will get the balance opponent to face with. The game is quite slow in combat, even when our characters are running, but it's quite taking a long time to reach a certain spot. In the game, we can switch the gun within primary and secondary for a long range, but you can deal a higher damage when you are using sword knife in melee combat. New best online games for Android and iOS. Max Fire Max Fire Battleground Offline This is the new best game offline with Battle Royale gameplay because of its early access, so the developer needs a lot of effort to make it become better. My experience on playing this game is super easy, especially when I see the enemy, their aim is not sharp, there is so many bullets missing on coming at me. In fact, I can easily kill the enemy with a little ammo left. You can see the enemy location by focusing on the red dot just on the radar map. The world map is quite small and we can even explore the area by using a string just like a spider-man or riding the skateboard and a mount. Most of the weapon will be available inside of the houses. The game size is very small for battleground games. It's about 256 megabytes. At the beginning, there are three character selections we can freely obtain. Best new game for Android and iOS. Shark Rage Sword Rage. Seriously, this game is one of the most fun to play games. Make sure you turn every setting into max graphic, then you will amaze with how the visual looks so realistic. Just imagine this game size is only 70 megabyte. I really give a high appreciation to the developer. Sword Rage is a free to play game. We will play as a wild shark who will be hunting some people who are swimming around the pool. As a shark, we should keep our bodies watery but not taking too long on the land, but it's okay if you jump on the land sometimes. Keep your eyes on the people to hunt them. I get high satisfaction on playing it. The control is super responsive and pretty easy to control. We only have two buttons, which are bite and jumping.